NBC. I've been involved in Zarda Pugilism for about 33 years, and I had a few young kids like Muhammad Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard. And you're going to meet another great one. A kid with a 20 and 1 record, a good looking heavyweight on the foul brawler against a man who on October 3rd went 15 rounds with Mike Weaver for the WBA heavyweight title. He is James Quick Tillis, ranked eighth in the world. Welcome to the beautiful Sands Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello everybody, I'm Kurt Gowdy, and delighted tonight to be working with the outstanding middleweight champion of the world, Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Marv, you're in your first role now as a boxing analyst on television, and I know you're acquainted especially with James Quick Tillis. Sure, I'm very excited, first of all, to be here. But I think that we're going to be in for a very exciting fight tonight. Quick tell us who you've seen from his last fight with Weaver. A lot of people are skeptical about whether he still have it or not. He's got quick hands and he's got fast feet. On the other hand, talking about Williams, I think if he's more of a, of a Joe Frazier, smoking to, uh, Joe Frazier type of fighter, big left hook I think we're going to look for tonight there and constantly uh, coming forward. This is a big opportunity for Williams, and I don't believe he's going to blow it tonight. So what we really have is the old confrontation of the boxer against the brawler. This puts on an exciting fight. All right, good, Marv. And... Ladies and gentlemen, the referee for the next bout of the evening, Mr. Richard Green. This is the main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing, in the red corner, fighting out of Fayetteville, North Carolina, weighing in at 218 pounds, here is Jerry Williams. And in the blue corner, from Chicago, Illinois, he is ranked fourth by the WBA in the heavyweight ranks. He weighs 213 pounds. He is James Quick Tillis. Ten rounds of boxing. Good evening, gentlemen. Both of you guys are professional fighters, and I would like for you to conduct yourself as a professional fighter. In case of one of you lose your mouthpiece, I want you to continue to fight. I want you to keep your punches up and protect yourself at all times. You got any questions to my left? You got any questions to my right? Good luck to both of you. Thank you. The referee is Richard Green. There are three judges, Paul Smith, Wayne Ford, Hal Miller. The referee has no vote. Ten rounder. Eight count is mandatory. Three knockdowns in a round, and it's the end of the fight. The bell is held up at the end of a round, except the tenth round, if there is a knockdown. A fighter cannot be counted out. He can be counted out, but he can't be saved by the bell. Here we go. Tillis is in the white trunks, and Jerry Williams is in the red trunks. Well, Kurt, I expect uh, Tillis to come out jabbing and moving, fill this guy out the first round. This guy here has got nothing to lose. And Tillis don't want this guy to make him look bad, so I think that it, he might try to put this guy away early in the first round. Jerry Williams in the red trunks is a Vietnam War veteran, a purple heart and a bronze star. And he lost the ring finger of his right hand and the bullet in Vietnam. Quick Tillis has been defeated only once. That was the 15-rounder against Weaver. One thing that I can see about what Williams is doing right now is he's trying to cut that ring off on Tillis right. right now. That was his strategy. Cut the ring off. He's keeping his hands up nice and high. Uh, Williams is. Tillis is known as an excellent boxer, but not a great puncher. Angelo Dundee says he's going to make him into a puncher. How do you do that? And I think that's a bad mistake right there because that means that he's going to have to stand still in order to deliver a punch. And with a big puncher like that, he should be on his, on his toes all the time. You can see that this Williams is not afraid of Tillis at all. And this is what makes an exciting fight and a great fight. He's coming to win this fight. Tillis in the white trunks, 24 years old, weighed in at 213. Jerry Williams in the red trunks is 28 years old, weighed in at 218. Well, you know, when Tillis went out there in October, he did a little bit too much moving and not enough fighting. Let's see if that changes a lot in this fight here. Round one of the scheduled 10 rounder. Good left jabs by Tillis and Quick. He's got a, a beautiful uh, body for a heavyweight. He couldn't ask for nothing. 215 pounds or whatever like that. That's a, a great physique for a heavyweight champion. This fight's important to him, Marvin Hagler. He wants to come back with an impressive showing after losing to Weaver. So I think he will. He's got great people behind him. Andrew Dundee is one of the best, which we know. 
and uh, I believe that he's, he's took uh, Tillis back to school, and uh, let's see what, what he's done with him. This is a curious part that we're all looking for tonight. Right now you see that Tillis is using that jab, very effective, keeping it in front of Williams' face all night long. He's not moving as much as he did against uh, Weaver, and that's good. So that means that he is going to use that punching power tonight. Williams wanted to stay to the body in the early rounds and slow Tillis down, but he hasn't been able to do much body punching. Tillis is quick. You have to give him that much, and he knows how to move around in that ring. Step back. Four corners. He's Step back. very uh, familiar with that ring in there. The fight of the month will return after these messages from our local state. heavyweight fight. Quick kill us in the white trunks against Jerry Williams. The boxer against the brawler. Marvin, uh, they tell me the best punch of Jerry Williams is the left hook. Yeah, well, he's moving in right. He's trying to set uh, Tillis up for it, but Tillis is just too quick, and he's not giving him that time to set up for that big left hook. But also, you got to watch both hands on the fighter. He might try to slip an overhand right on Tillis. Tillis got to be fast and keep moving the way that he's doing. He's fighting the perfect fight right now. Angelo Dundee says that James Quick Tillis has all the tools to be a champion. What he must do now, he's still a youngster, is hone those skills. Well, I believe that he's still growing in talent and in, in experience. I believe that Quick Tillis is still growing. Speaking of champions, we've got a lot of ex-great ones in the audience. Carmen Basilio's here, the former welterweight champ. Tony DeMarco, former welterweight champ in the audience tonight. Gene Fulmer, middleweight champ, the raging bull in person here tonight. Step back, Lamont. Step back. And Chuck Busseri is here. Kurt, what a feeling it was when them guys got in the ring tonight. Yeah, I know you really what got a feeling. Kick out of it. They had a salute there here at Friday night to some of the great ex champions. Did Vegas. you see that nice left right combination that Tillis just threw right there? He needs those kind right there to keep Williams off balance all night. If he lets uh, Williams start finding his target range, then I think that uh, Phyllis is going to be in trouble. Weaver was a little rusty, but let's see if Williams has the tools that Weaver didn't have. Williams trying to get to the body. That was a beautiful left hook there. That might have shook Williams up. I think Phyllis feels the kill. He knows he can whoop this guy. Phyllis is left very effective. He's just, it's just a matter of time before he puts his punches together the way that he wants to. We was, I mean, <laughs> Williams is doing the bad thing right now by backing up off of Tillis. Yeah, Tillis has become the aggressor now. He's got Williams' nose bleeding right now. He can't get away from his right. He can't get away from his left. Thirty seconds coming up. Okay. Round two. Get Quick back, get Tillis back. in the white trunk. Jerry Williams in Fayetteville, North Carolina. His manager, Aaron Walker, lives right across the street from him. Williams is going to be in the heavyweight army right. track. A beautiful combination oh. that Tillis just threw. Get out of there now. What I'm seeing right now is I believe that Angel Dundee okay, did okay. take Tillis to school right now, and he do have him punching. Hold him here now. Which is good. Stay tuned for more of the fight of the month. three, heavyweight fight. Jerry Williams in the red trunks. Jim Quick Tillis in the white trunks. Jerry Williams has never been knocked out. He's had two fights stopped on him, one with a cut eye. That was Pinkland Thomas. And the fight stopped by a doctor after a seventh round against Tim Witherspoon. Just as the bell ended there, you see that Williams caught Tillis with both overhand right and overhand left as the bell sounded. Let's see if we continue that there in this next round here. Williams has been a sparring partner with Larry Holmes. And I understand that he, uh, Larry Holmes gave him, uh, said this man here has the best left hook in the business. He hasn't used it yet. No, he hasn't landed one yet. The voice with me, marvelous Marvin Hagler, middleweight champion of the world. So those had next to... uh, champions came by. All of them stopped to say hello to Marvin tonight. What a feeling. <laughs> Made you feel good, didn't it? Very good. They know you. This is round three. 
this is what uh, Phyllis has to be careful about because Williams is going for broken there. He's just throwing those overhand lucky punches. And he might catch Tillis with one of these because Tillis leans back with his heads up high. Minute and a half to go, round three. Okay, let's have it. Step back. Williams is back now and... Step back. Trying to cut the ring off and move in on him. Phyllis is kind of letting this Williams build up his confidence now by moving again instead of putting his punches together like he did in the last round. They call Tillis the fighting cowboy. He wants to be a rodeo performer and wants to own a ranch when he's through fighting. Loves calf roping, bulldogging. Beautiful Ooh, shot. Caught him with that left hook. Beautiful shot. Nice left hook, right combination. Right on the money. That's the kind of shot Tillis needs all night to keep this guy off guard. Especially if he's looking for another title title shot in there. He's got to put this guy away. That's right. He's, as I said, this is an important fight for James Quick Tillis in the white trunk. He just lost WBA heavyweight title 15 rounds. It was a beautiful left hook right there that might have shook Williams up. He's backing off now. Whether or not he's hurt or not. He's going down. He was over. He <laughs> couldn't get up. 30 was caught with a beautiful body shot. And that body shot is in that shape. Rick Tillis in the third round has knocked out Gary Williams. And I have to tell you, I think, Rick right. Tillis was very impressive tonight. He came out punching just the way that uh, Dundee said that he would. Very good combination. Well, now they said he couldn't punch, but... Uh, he punched pretty well tonight. We'll be back. You all right, Jerry? Here's a replay. It was the left uppercut to the belly is what really stopped him. And down goes Jerry Williams to stay on his knees. He tried to get up at uh, the nine count, but couldn't make it. The winner... Can't, can't shake those belly shots. No. <laughs> Just the other way around, Jerry Williams was going to go to the body early and slow Tillis down, but Tillis finally got him. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, let's go to uh, Chuck Hall down Ladies the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, 53 seconds of the third round. The winner by a knockout, James Quick Tillis. We'll have more boxing here from the Sands Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, right after this word from our local... You know, any big guy, 213, you know, they, we know they can punch people in boxing, but this kid's starting to level better. He's not a patty cake sort of a guy, and uh, he'll see better things out of this kid because, you know, age, he's just 24. He will be 25. Uh, he's going to be a heck of a looking fighter, and uh, I'm not kidding myself. He's going to be a champ of the world. You said to me uh, this afternoon he has the tools to be a champion. He has everything. He has. He can box, he can punch, he can move. He can do anything he wants in there. So he knows how to... takes two guys to tango in there, but I think he can do everything well. All right, Marvin, let's see what uh, the winner tonight has to say. Uh, first thing I want to do is thank God for the victory and give him strength and say hi to my family back in Oklahoma and my girlfriend in uh, Waukegan, Illinois. Not only that, Quick, I thought that you felt a little mean in there tonight, too. You want that title shot again, don't you? Yeah, I hate myself after that last fight. I thought in my mind I was winning on points, but I knew I could punch. I should have got a weaver that night. I hate myself that, so I got to work harder and harder. I got to come back. I want to be, that's my dream of being champion. I believe that everybody here tonight was trying, they was a little skeptical, wanted to see what you was really made of, whether you lost it or, or what, you know. And you showed the world here tonight that... Hey, Quick Tillis is back, and I'm ready for a championship fight one more time. Is rated number three, which leaves us the champion of them all, 